in the previous question what happened was um, you know uh, for the same with these two questions if you look at this these two are the last last two questions in the previous video there i told you that you know uh, cash sales cannot be found out but then it turns out that with this data uh, cash sales could be found out so i'll just tell you how it is possible okay so fine uh, watch this first <coughs> now we know that physical address in case of uh, set associative mapping is actually divided into three parts one is tag right and other is set number right and the other is the word offset or the block right block size or the word offset word offset right i mean block offset or the word number okay fine so anyway there are three fields now uh, physical address is how much so i'm talking about this question first okay so this is the uh, last but the last but one in the previous uh, video uh, you can check that video once now if 64 mb is the given size then what is the physical address we know that 64 mb can be written as you know 2 power 26 therefore physical address is 2 you know 26 64 can be written as 2 power 26 okay and then uh, the number of bits in the tag it is already given as the number of bits in the tag is given as 10 right and the number of bits here representing this set let us say is x and number of bits representing the uh, block size let's say is y now x plus y put together is definitely 16 right that is what we know x plus y put together is 16 i derived from here right so what is x x is the number of bits used to represent the set number and y is the number of bits used to represent the you know block offset or the word number which means 2 power y will be equal to blocks and 2 power x will be equal to sets so if you have any doubt you can write like this 2 power x will be equal to the number of sets and 2 power y will be equal to the block size got it okay now uh, what i mean to say is uh, we could find out the cache size even without any other information so how is it possible is watch it I could write the cache size as cache size cache size like this you know number of sets into size of each set into uh, I mean size of each set in the sense I can write in the other way let's write number of lines per set number of lines per set into you know block size or the line size right are you understanding this cache size equal to number of sets into number of lines per set into you know block size so what does it mean if i have the uh, you know cache now it is already divided into lines divided into lines right and now each you know lines are divided into sets sets like this okay now i mean to say the entire cache size is equal to number of sets into number of lines per set into you know size of each line that is what i mean to say size of each line is nothing but the size of block right and now in these parameters uh, we can substitute these values number of sets we already assumed is 2 power x isn't it 2 power x is the number of sets and what about number of lines per set we don't know that directly right i mean uh, i mean number of lines per set is already given in the question see it is given as four way set associative what is the meaning of four way set associative it means that in every set uh, there are exactly four lines right therefore in four way set associative i am going to put four lines into what is the block size block size is 2 power y right so this entire thing is going to be the cache size so in order to find out cache size right you should find out it is 4 into 2 power x plus y check that 4 into 2 power x plus y then what is x plus y already we found out that x plus y value is 16 therefore 4 into 2 power 16 is the value so how much is this 4 into 2 power 16 is 2 power 18 2 power 18 bytes got it so that is how you could find out the cache size here so cache size is 2 power 18 bytes did you follow this okay i'll just again explain you see physical address you know that it can be written as you know tags in you know plus uh, this set number 
plus block number this is how the physical address is actually divided uh, in case of set associative mapping it is given that 10 bits are used in the uh, tag therefore i am writing 10 here and since it is 64 mb 64 mb can be written as 26 2 port 26 and i am i'm taking this as byte addressable since i am talking about byte addressable you know uh, the number of bits required in the uh, physical address will be equal to the number of addressable bytes or addressable units here the addressable unit is byte therefore we need 26 bits in order to represent or in order to identify each of the 64 mb uniquely right so physical address is 64 equal to you know uh, this entire thing and we don't know how many sets are there and we don't know how many uh, blocks what is each block size block size is not given and sets are not given even though this one is given right we need the block size in order to divide you know derive the line size number of lines and then we need to find out the sets we don't know anything therefore what i could definitely know is x plus y is going to be 16 right and now cache can be written as number of sets into number of lines per set into block size right then what about number of sets we assumed already that number of sets is equal to 2 power x right and what about number of lines per set it is a set associativeness right it is 4 by set associative and what about block size it is 2 power y then 4 into 2 power x plus y is the uh, you know um, uh, cat size and we already know that uh, you know x plus y is 16 and therefore it is going to be 2 power 18 bytes uh, which is uh, 256 kb right now can i guess the block size i cannot guess the block size i know that x plus y is going to be uh, hmm, this one but then i cannot guess the block size isn't it and what about tag size I cannot guess the tag size, I mean tag size is given, what about the tag directory size, I cannot guess it. The reason is, I need to find out the number of lines, right. So if this would have been given block size, I could have found out that, but you know we cannot uh, find out the remaining. So that is what I, I think we can find out, okay. Now let's see the next question. So in the next question also, cache size is given, right, but then the remaining parts are not given. Cache size is given and we have to find out the main memory size. We shall use the same logic here, right? Let's see how it works. Observe this. Now, uh, we know that physical address is divided like this and then tag is given as 7 bits. So, we need 7 here. We know it is 7. Now, x and y we can find out individually or we can find out x plus y and then we can derive the physical address, right? Physical address we don't know as of now. So let us say 2 power x sets are there and uh, number of block size is 2 power y, right? In that case, what will be cache? Cache will be number of sets into number of lines per set into block size. Now, what about number of sets? We don't know. Let me write it as 2 power x, right? What about cache size? Cache size is given as 512 kb. 512 kb is nothing but 2 power 19, right? And 2 power x is the number of sets. And what about number of lines per set? It is given as you know 8 phase set associative therefore it is 8 into you know 2 power let us say block size we don't know so let's write it as 2 power y then what does it mean it means that 2 power x plus y is equal to 2 power 16 right then what about x that implies x x plus y x plus y combined is going to be 16 bits right okay and now I can take this 16 and I can put it here. So x plus y is going to be 16 and then tag is 6, right? So x plus y is found out to be 16 here if you know. And then uh, tag is going to be 6, uh, 7. Then what is the total uh, physical address size? Total physical address size is 16 plus 7 which is 23. Therefore physical address is 2 power 23 bytes. So which is I think 8 MB. I'm not sure this right so you know we could actually find out this now can we guess the block size again the same difficulty we cannot guess the block size right so what did you observe given this uh, you know uh, associativeness the product of this i mean the set size into block size is going to be constant okay so given the set associativeness set size into block size is constant why because cache size is not going to change right and similarly in direct mapping you know number of lines into size of each line is going to be constant because they represent the cache size if cache size is you know constant 
and set associate units is already given then this set size multiplied with block, block size is going to be constant which means you know if you are going to take add one more bit here that bit will be removed from here if you add one more bit here it will, it will be removed from here which means these two will be constant given the cache size is constant and the you know uh, set size is constant got it fine so you can just uh, you know make modification to the previous question fine